Hello children. Hello my little kitties. Well, I'm refining these panel gaps. I've used a little bit of rage here only to uh, contour these two fenders. The door of this fender didn't quite match. I've got it metal to metal in the edge, but I needed to bring the thickness out a little bit. Uh, here on the back of this passenger door, I had to weld in a little wire right here to bring this out. It was a little bit, a little bit too wide for my taste. Uh, that's a quarter of an inch and a, a slightly tight at the bottom. I don't want, you know, I don't want to get it perfect. You know, anyone can take a rust out car and uh, sculpt a TR6 out of Bondo. You know, uh, sometimes I think the really nice TR6s that have been restored, they leave a little a couple clues as to how they look when they came from the factory. They didn't come from the factory perfect. So when you see an absolutely perfect TR6, you know, you've just got someone with too much money, frankly. Um, you know, you can update and perfect a TR6 to the point where you're not even driving a TR6. You want to smell the oil, you want to hear the rattle, you want it to be a 1969 Triumph TR6 driving experience. You don't want a V6 in it and automatic transmission and you don't want all that crap. You want an English car. That's the reason why you bought the doggone thing to begin with. I think this is number 13 for me, by the way, over the years. I'm 61. Anyway, so this side's looking pretty good. I'm real happy with it. Uh, everything is completely bolted down. I warn you, girls and boys, when you get ready to panel fit a car, you better have every single bolt in and tight because you'd be surprised. You can tighten down a bolt on the front of the fender and have this go out of whack. So anyway, but on the other side, I'm having trouble. And here is where I need your help. Here's where I need your help. I've always thought, generally when I do these cars, I always do cars that need floors. I, I've done like, as I say, 13 of them. And I always seem to get, or I seem to think, seem to think that I get my, my tubs tight in dimension. Case in point, this is metal to metal here on the edges, but I had to bring out the uh, contour a little bit to match. Not bad, just a little bit. It's all metal to metal. But when my striker is correctly adjusted, I've got this. And if I might ask you, on your cars, measure this for me, would you? This is a pretty good measuring point right here. Measure all the way to its corresponding corner right here. Upside down, I get 174.3. And this would be, this, this is an indication of the top dimension of the door where I'm having the trouble. The bottom dimension doesn't seem to be a problem, but I don't uh, ever seem to be able to trust a measuring point on the bottom. You know, the holes can be in different spots and reproduction panels you can't assemble a body with reproduction panels and count on a bolt hole to measure from. So you guys, you know, I have like six subscribers and please know I love you all. <laughs> but for those who have TR6s, do me a favor and measure this for me from the uh, tight now, from the uh, corner of the hood of, of the trunk opening, the boot opening, straight across tight to this corner right here. Now this corner is a little bit soft, it's not quite squared up, but it looks like it's 174.1 or 2, but it's like 174.3. 174 and let me know. In the meantime, I have no other choice, but I'm going to have to cut a slot right here down and then jack this around. It's going to have to be a pretty big slot. There's just no other way I can do it. There's just no other damn way I can do it. So uh, I'm going to uh, I'm going to get cutting right now. Thanks for your help. Bye.